Hi, welcome to How to Repair. This video is on a Beko washing machine that is not filling with water or stopping mid-cycle. It may be showing a tap symbol in the display. This is Evercode E08. I will show you how to find the fault, clear it in diagnostic mode and replace the water valve. When you first start the machine you may hear water enter the machine for a second or two this does not necessarily mean that both water valves are working. One water valve might be opening and then it pumps out and then goes into the fill cycle but no water is going in. After a while a tap symbol will show on your display. This normally means that there is no water either getting to the machine or one of the components has failed. When you go into diagnostic mode you may see E08 showing in the display. This is the water valve error code or related faults. During this video I have put some links in the description and also on the information button at the top of the screen which you can see which will take you through to related tutorials. I also have a detailed tutorial on how water valves work and there are also about 10-15 Beko videos at the website. But the first thing we need to do is remove the lid, unplug the appliance from the electricity supply, disconnect the water. Now one of the faults being is your machine may have been pushed back into its space and the fill pipe is actually kinked. This needs to be checked first, but if you have water going to the valve, then it's a problem usually with either the wiring or the valve itself or you may have a PCB fault on certain occasions. I'm going to remove the valve, I already know this valve is faulty but I'll show you how to check it in a second. The valve can be easily removed from the back of the machine, it's either held on with screws or it has a plastic lug that you need to press and then twist the valve and this will release it from the chassis. Once you've got the valve released from the chassis, remove the wiring. The wiring is held in with clips. Be careful with these clips as they are brittle. It is worth taking a picture of the wiring when removing them from the valve, but normally the plugs will only go in to each individual valve. Now the water valves are controlled with electronic solenoids. The solenoids should have a field when put onto continuity on your multimeter. The one on the right is faulty. This is a new valve and I'm just showing you we've got about a 1200 reading. Now we'll test the valve that we just took off. The one on the left has a field although it is quite low but the one on the right is open circuit. This is the faulty valve. So we need to replace the water valve. All these water valves can be found at the website and if you can't find your Pacific valve for your machine just send us an email and the links are above and below as I said in the description. When fitting the valve make sure you don't kink the hoses. Replace the wiring And then it pushes back and twists into place or you have to hold it in with the two screws. At the website there are lots of tutorials on Beko washing machines including all the error code list. Also videos on how to change motor brushes, pumps, door seals etc. Now that we have the machine ready for testing we're going to clear the error code. Now we're going to go into diagnostic mode. To enter diagnostic mode you need to turn the dial to the 12 o'clock position. Hold down the start button. I'll just do it again for you. So 12 o'clock position, make sure the door's shut. Hold and keep holding the start button and press the on off button. This will then bring up the error code didn't go in first time so holding down the start button 
you can now see a number appearing. The error code is out already cleared, but it should show E08 as you had a water valve. The first setting is checking the display is working correctly. You will hear the door lock energize. The number two setting is right hand rotation. Number three is left hand rotation. Number four will take it into the spin mode. Number five will enter the water valve sequence. A warning to you, never leave the machine in diagnostic mode. Uh, you should always turn it off when walking away from the appliance. Now we'll check the water valve sequence. The next time you press the start button, the right hand compartment will start to fill with water. This is checking the water valve. Press it again, the left hand compartment will start to fill with water. Pressing it again, all three compartments will fill with water. The next time you press the start button, it will go into its fill setting. It will do right hand rotation once it's filled to the correct level and the heater will be energized. You can test the heater by leaving it run for about 2-3 minutes and then feeling the glass and you should have some warmth coming through on the glass. This is checking the heating element but it will continue to heat until it gets to the boil setting. The next time you press it, it will go on to the empty sequence. The machine will empty, as you can see here. The next time you press it, it will go back to the beginning. At this point, you can press the off button, and now, after a couple of seconds, turn it back on, and it has cleared the error code and ready for use. There you go. I hope you found this video helpful. Please remember you can support the website by always donating to us and buying us a beer. And there are hundreds of other videos on domestic appliance repairs at the website. Thanks very much indeed for watching this video.